Hey, what's up, y'all? So um, I mainly wanted to keep this channel more video and film oriented, but one of the most recent photos that I posted on my Instagram has been getting a lot of traction and uh, The Midnight, which is a band, they ended up reposting it and it got a lot of uh, people going to me asking how I achieved this particular look. It's like a cyberpunk neon type edit and um, heavy in the blue and pinks. So I figured I might as well just uh, do a quick tutorial on how to achieve it. So let's go ahead and open up Lightroom. Um, this is the before picture out of camera and uh, it's not not that appealing. Um, a quick, quick side note, if you wanna try and shoot and intend to edit in this type of style i suggest trying to take pictures of heavily lighted um, buildings or areas with a lot of leds neon signs things like that because that's just going to further improve the overall look of the finished product so let's just uh, jump right into it uh, it's a little bit warm right now so we want to go ahead and change the temperature and uh, what we we'll want to do is just bring down the temperature quite a bit. Give it a little more cooler of a look. I usually like around 2500 when I'm trying to make the, the photos more cool. And let's go ahead and just bump the purple a little bit. Or magentas, I'm sorry. Uh, 18 seems pretty good. And then what I usually do is I just mess with the overall initial tones of it. I usually um, prefer my photos to have a little bit less contrast. So I'm just gonna bring those down a little bit. Uh, there, it looks pretty good. And then the lights are a little bit overbearing. So I'm just gonna bring the highlights down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Bring the shadows up a tiny bit. Uh, that looks okay. And what I usually also like to do is on the dehaze, I typically like to go uh, decrease that because that kind of brings out the haziness or um, gives it that kind of haze look. And it was a foggy night, so this just kind of increases that overall fog look if you will and then uh, next thing i want to do which is going to be a big part of bringing the lookout is go into the uh, highlight and shadow toning and what we want to do is we want to bring out the pinks and the magentas of the picture right now they're kind of non-existent it's just kind of a blue cool looking picture so well what we want to do is just put it in the purple magenta area and i'm just going to go ahead and bring the saturation up quite a bit let's see that seems pretty good shadows we still want to keep around the teal maybe even like close to the greens and then bring those sh the saturation up quite a bit uh, that's looking pretty cool and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and on the balance option right here I'm just gonna put it way toward just all the way towards uh, the right side and uh, all right so there's that um, you might be thinking that looks kind of shitty but it's a process so Let's go ahead and keep going. I also, before before doing anything with the um, RGB curves, I always like to go down to the very bottom and mess with the hues uh, and saturation sometimes. But um, what we're gonna do is bring the reds down quite a bit. So it'll bring out the purple. There's that, that's looking okay. And let's see. All right, 
so that's looking pretty good. Um, it's it's a little it's it's really saturated right now, but we're gonna change that. So let's jump up to the RGB tone curves, and this is where a lot of the um, final look comes from. So let's just bring down the. We're just gonna do the main edits, I guess, of the uh, RGB curves. I'm gonna bring the shadows down, blast the blacks a little bit, and then bring the mid-tones down a tiny bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And uh, this, what I, what I noticed is that a lot of people don't really use, take advantage of the full, I guess, power of the tone curves. They usually just stick to the regular RGB curves to split the tones. But what I did with this one is I went individually to each color and, um, you know, messed with it there. And that really brought out the uh, final look of this image. So let's go down to the reds. And what I want to do is that this is a heavily, I guess, magenta pink highlighted picture. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the highlights up quite a bit. That looks pretty good. And I still want the highlights to be. So let's do that and bring the midtones up right about there. So that way it's more um, pink and purple throughout the entire image. Like in the fog, it got a little bit more pink. And we also want to bring the shadows up too. So that way it'll show, you know, in the ground here and the reflection. And that's a big difference right there. So let's go to the next one. On the greens, I don't really want any green in this picture. Um, so we're just gonna crush the shadows of the greens bring down the mid-tones, and also bring down the highlights a tiny bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Next one, we'll go to the blues. And still want the, you know, blue in the shadows. So there's, put it right there, that looks pretty good. Bring down the mid-tones of the blues. Maybe right about there and bring up the highlights a tiny bit. Okay. So that's looking pretty decent. All right, and then next we're gonna go to the HSL sliders. And on the reds, I'm just gonna fuck it. Just bring them all the way down. That's gonna bring the uh, purples out a little bit more. Orange, same thing. Any hint of orange, I want them out. All right, and then we're gonna change the uh, blues down here, the aqua, bring them all the way. Blue, all the way down, more of a teal look. So that's looking pretty good. Purple, bring it down a little bit. Same with magenta this way. Okay. Saturation. I don't really want to mess with the luminance. I'm, I'm liking the way everything is looking so far, but I do want the saturation down for the purples. Let's see. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So yeah, um, it was pretty quick. I mean, it's not too crazy. You just gotta kind of, the initial process of editing it was a lot longer, but you know, you really just gotta, you know, explore the options in Lightroom. It's a crazy, crazy software. You can do so much in there and uh, really take advantage of the, the red, green, and blue tone curves. Cause without doing that, I would not have been able to achieve this particular look. 
So I just figured I'd give some insight on how I uh, edited this photo to get this finished product. And uh, yeah, if you want to go check out my Instagram, it's at Mac Guajardo, and you can check out my other photos there I uh, post. So um, if you want me to do more tutorials like this one, just comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.